Good day everybody, this is Dark Comet and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins. This is going to be episode number 15 of Bayek's Adventures in Ancient Egypt. In last episode we saw Bayek assault the Pharaoh's soldiers at Camp Minolithus and rescue civilians that were imprisoned there. We saw him discover more clues about the scorpion at the Shrine of Serapis. We saw him assault bandits at the Elves hideout and fight off different groups of crocodiles near sunken treasures. We also saw him go and recover another sunken treasure at the Herkit beer cache, destroy dangerous groups of hyenas and crocodiles, and assault more of the soldiers um, of Pharaoh at the two different locations of ships in the harbor. We also saw him go to the Hippodrome looking for Apollodorus, um, which is working for Cleopatra. However, he couldn't find him there, so he was told to meet with Apollodorus in the evening, which we'll do this episode. We also saw Bayek meet an old friend at the Hippodrome, who is now named Claritus, who is a famous chariot racer. He's a little bit of jealous of Bayek as well, and we find out some interesting things throughout their lives and as they catch up on good old times, and they get drunk together, have a little fist fight, and then that's where that episode ended. In this episode, we're going to see Bayek travel to the lighthouse in the evening to meet Apollodorus. And Apollodorus is going to ask for Bayek's help to rescue Demestris, who has been kidnapped by the Pharaoh's soldiers. And he was also carrying an important scroll that's supposed to go to Cleopatra. So Bayek goes over to the docks, kills the soldiers, rescues Demestris, and finds out that the um, Papyrus is actually at the bottom of the water because the, they sunk the ship. So he recovers that as well. And then Apollodorus uh, takes Bayek to his villa where Cleopatra and all their um, royal workers and friends are all having a party. We then see that Bayek and Cleopatra, Apollodorus and Aya, his wife, were also there, um, go into a room. And that's when they reveal to Bayek that there is a bigger um, conspiracy out there and that they are called the Order of the Ancients. Cleopatra then asks for Bayek's help to assassinate the members of the Order of the Ancients, track down who they are, take them out because they are corrupting Egypt and using the Pharaoh as a puppet. So Bayek accepts the duties and she declares him the Royal Magi of all of Egypt. We then see Bayek travel to the Zephyrus stables where he meets with Nicias and Philocrates, his father, who raced chariots at the Hippodrome, and they ask for Bayek's help to recover their prized racing horse that was stolen from them by bandits. So Bayek and Nicias and his group of workers go track down the bandits, kill them, and return the horse back to their stables. So that's kind of where we're going to go with this episode. I hope you guys enjoy this adventure. It's quite fun to tell you, and I look forward to sharing it with you. So let's get started. Oh. Where are you? Oh, you know, Skippy Prati. If Haris was in me, that's who. If Loyit is a fake. Oh. I'm set here, oh, yes. Get it. Oh. Polodoros. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? <laughs> Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? 
I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. Well, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue the masters and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Where is this Damastis? He should be on the docks in Carnopos Harbor. I can't risk that someone reads the scroll he carries. It's not to draw attention here. Hey, wait! I have to sleep in my own filth in here. Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. Get me to a safe place. Then we will talk. Nachte, hört ein Berg. Oh. Time to die, Phile. <laughs> 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 I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his own. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. 
Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Hey, hold on! Die, idiot! That precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria. Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy. ...responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills.
Here we are. The villa is up ahead. Ah, yeah, Heru! Whoa. Yeah. Oh. You will learn more at the villa. <clears throat> the queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! <laughs> she caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't <laughs> hold the grudge. Mm -hmm. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> 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 like Xanthivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In mehoto ek nebsheve. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! You were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Oh, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region, but they have been unable to touch the order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the order of ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the order of ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. 
where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sun shed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink, celebrate, make love. Tomorrow, I did not expect to see you here. Quite the estate. Yes, we've been lucky. Father breeds horses, and his horses have often won in the games. I told him about meeting you. You told him what? Not much. That you are a rider. That you know Clarid as well. Too well. By half. Come. He would love to meet you. Beautiful, isn't she? Bright eyes, flawless gait. Hey, she wants to win, eh? You know a thing or two about horses. Nikias, who is your friend? Father, this is Bayek. He wants race with Claridas. My father, Philocrates of Canopus, son of Themistocles of Canopus. Grew up with Claridas? Let's see you drive, Barak. Nikias, keep close. Maybe you'll learn something. It's Bayek. Ah, fine. 
Does Siwa have a great course for racing? No. We are a small village. We did have chariots. The old kingdom and its pharaohs brought them. I envy that freedom. When was the last time you raised Claridas? A long while. I barely know the name. Careful! Tighter on the reins! Watch the statuary! Icarus was the true master of the races, something Claridas hopes to aspire to. My father loved Icarus. He was his favorite... his favorite rider. Let's show my father your natural skill. You have a light touch! You are a natural! With you riding for the green, I'm sure we can win in the Hippodrome! You are a natural! You have a light touch! Faster, Bayek, faster! Such speed! Whoa. What's going on? Something's wrong. <clears throat> Father! Hurry, Bayek! <laughs> Negias! Horse thieves! Kia! The balls on them! She is my winning guest horse. You have to get her back. We won't let you down, Father. <laughs> Hurry, men! We can't let these brazen raiders get away with this! The honor of Prasina Green depends on it! For Prasina Green! Race, as if you were Helios! Keep a sharp eye out! Father loves that horse more than... more than all the others we've raced! For Philocrates! For Saganaki! Oh, Hanichero! The Abbas never! Keher Niu! Pendua! Sahreya Shestawu! Oh! Rie! Kev! Clear off! Hold on, you! Whoa! We must be getting close. For Icarus, for Prasina Green. For the Green! Whoa. How many bandits do you think there are? Do not worry. We have the Medjai with us. We will be fine. Who are these bandits? Whoa. Scum who are working for the Blues, I'm sure. Have you heard about the Great Hungry Ones? Who are they? Bandits down south. I think they write war Whoa. hippos. Yeah. What? Are you serious? Come, so I I've heard. Five meters time. I must push on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Buy me some time. I must push on. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Oh. Uh. Buy 
Buy me some time. I must push on. <laughs> Whoa. Nothing. Hang on. Yeah. Hey. Hip. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, hold on. Yeah. We are got a wall! We've got you! Pin him! Whoa. Shield me! Yeah. We cannot fail our mission! Uh. Uh. Hey now! You're finished! Whoa!
By Serapis, you did it! I cannot believe it! I was convinced we'd never see Saranagi or my son again! I dealt with the bandits who stole her. I suspect they stole Saganaki on behalf of your blue rivals. Gods blast them! We'll have to beat the blues in the races to teach them shame and humiliation. I hope you raise wearing the green, I... Barrett. I will do my best. I'm sure the gods will bless Prasina Green in their favored arena. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it for you. It's so much fun playing Assassin's Creed Origins again, and it's such an exciting tale, and I look forward to seeing how it all plays out. Make sure you hit that like button, because it really helps out my channel a lot, and hit that subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure you hit click that notification bell, so you'll be notified of future episodes of Assassin's Creed Origins, and anything else that I do on this channel. I look forward to sharing Bayek's adventures with you, as he seeks revenge on all those who helped kill his son and corrupt his homeland of ancient Egypt. We'll also look at the ancient mysteries of Egypt, including the Great Pyramids and the Tombs of the Pharaohs, and all those big, lush, sandy deserts and oasis areas. We're going to also see how Bayek forms the Assassin Brotherhood and the Hidden Ones, which is such an exciting tale, and look forward to sharing that with you as well. So, take care, guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next Dark Comet. Adventures.